Are you there? Give me verses 20. Mark chapter 11 and verse 20. This being the final part of the well on forgiveness. It has been demanded by our television audience that we will put it in Kiswahili for better understanding and reaching a wider segment of the population. So we'll take a little bit of more time and speak to the body of Christ. The Bible says in verses 20. Now in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from its roots. And Peter remembering said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things that he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Katupwe baharini wala sione shaka moyoni mwake ila amini kwamba hayo asemayo ya metukia ya takua. Therefore I say to you whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you receive them and you will have them. Kwa sababu hiyo na wambia yoyote mwambayo mkisali ya minini ya kwamba na yapokea nayo ya takua yenu. Now everybody look up at the LCD projection. Wote tuangali ukuta pandia mbele. Let's read all of us together now. Tusome basi sasa. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive you. You are trespassers. You may take your seats. Now is that I want to talk about forgiveness, the last and the final part on this topic, forgiveness. <laughs> I want you to understand that today forgiveness is tied to your the, the spirit of forgiveness of forgiving others or not forgiving them affects your breakthrough in prayer. Before I finish preaching today whether you are seated in this great church or you are watching me on television there is one thing that will come clear to your mind. You will understand that some of the things you are not able to break through could be tied to your inability to forgive and to release people from your life and from your heart. Jesus, the Bible says in, in Matthew chapter in Mark chapter 11 and verse 20. If you want to know earlier on, Jesus was, was angry, he wanted to eat something. 
in the hali of verses katika aya ya zapale juu he wanted to eat something alikuwa ametamani kula kitu and he saw a beautiful fig tree akauona mtini ulikuwa mrembo kwenye majani mabichi it was green everything was wonderful majani mabichi ilikuwa inakaa sawa he went in looking for figs akaenda pale kutafuta mitini and he found nothing on it akapata hakuna chochote it had no fruit haikuwa na matunda it was beautiful outside ulikuwa unaonekana mrembo it was great outside ilionekana kubwa but it had nothing it had no fruit kuwa na chochote hakuwa na matunda jesus cursed the fig tree yesu akaulaani ule mtini he said may nobody ever in this life eat figs from you sema na kusiwe mtu yeyote akaye kula tini kutoka kwako and immediately na mara hiyo hiyo They left. Wakaondoka. The tree was still green. Ule mti bado ulikuwa waonekana Jesus cast the tree. Yesu Kristo akalaani. But the tree was still green. Ni mti ulikuwa unaonekana kijani kibichi. He cast the tree. Akalaani mti. But the tree was still green. Lakini mti ulikuwa bado unaonekana kijani kibichi. Nothing changed from the physical. Kuna kilichobadilika ikionekana kutoka nje. But what this tree did know that what for God cast it, Jesus cast it. Lakini mti haukujua baada ya kulaaniwa na Kristo. The tree was disconnected from food and water at the roots. Mti ulikatishwa kutokana na chakula na maji kutoka pale shinani. Some of you think that the prayer that you have prayed and the things you are believing God God for uh, the, you think that there's nothing that is happening Wengine wetu wanadhania mambo ambayo umeomba na unamngojea Mungu kuhusu hakuna kinachotendeka But I want you to know there is a lot that is taking place Lakini kuna mengi nataka ujue yanatendeka And soon and very soon Hivi karibuni That which God is doing that you cannot see will be manifest in the physical. Kile ambacho hauoni kitadhihirika wazi. Your breakthrough is coming your way. Upenyo wako unaja. Your breakthrough is coming your way. Upenyo wako waja. But the following day in verses 20 As they passed in the morning. Walipopitia pale asubuhi. The tree that was green yesterday. Muti uliokuwa kijani kibichi. The tree that was full of life yesterday. Muti uliokuwa na uhai mwingi jana. Had withered. Ulikuwa umeanza kudhoofika. The leaves were dying. Mi majani yake yalianza kuanguka. It was dying. Ulikuwa unanyauka. And Peter remembering looked at Jesus and said. Petro alipokumbuka akamwangalia Yesu na kusema. Oh the fig tree has dried from its roots. Sema ule mtini umenyauka kutoka shinani. And the Bible says Biblia inasema Peter pointed it to Jesus. Petro akamwangalia akamuonyesha Yesu. That the tree that you cast yesterday. Mwambie ule mtini uliolaani jana is dried today. Unaonekana unanyauka leo. And Jesus told him our faith in God. Yesu akamwambia kuwa na imani katika Bwana. Let's go further down and the Bible, Bible says Biblia nasema Jesus said for assuredly I say to you Yesu akamwambia hakika naambia hivi Whoever says to this mountain atakayesema kwa mlima huu be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in their hearts and believes that the things that they say will be done they will have whatever they say Ondoka uka uende baharini na amini bila shaka moyoni mwake itatendeka hivyo What a great promise Ni ahadi kuu kiasi gani Let's stay for a few minutes on this point wewe kidogo hapa Jesus says whoever says to this mountain Yesu anamwambia yeyote akayesema kwa mlima huu God does not Jesus did not tell us to go and push the mountain Yesu hakutuambia twende tukasukume milima He gave us power to command Alitupea nguvu za kuabudu Life and death are in the power of the tongue Ma uhai na kifo ziko kwenye ulimi wako When God wants to do something he speaks it to existence Mungu akitaka kutenda kitu ananena kwa maneno yake When yaki. God was creating the world through Mungu Jesus Mungu alipoumba ulimwanguni kupitia Kristo He never build a factory Hakujenga Human beings need a factory to assemble something. Watu wanatafuta kiwanda kujenga kitu. Your God does not need a factory. Mungu wako hahitaji kiwanda. He calls the things that are not. Anayeita mambo yasiyo as though they are. Kana kwamba yapo. God does not need an assembling plant. Mungu hahitaji kiwanda cha kuunganisha. He calls whatever he wants. Anaita kile anataka. That is why we pray for you and you pray for yourself and you say in Jesus name I receive and Ndiyo something happens. Ndio maana tunakuombeana tunasema kwa jina la Yesu utapokea na inakuwa hivyo. I don't know whether you will understand me I'm going to use very strong words if you are si, under 18 you will get confused. Sijui kama mnanielewa ukiwa chini ya miaka 
pengine utakuwa changanyikiwa kiasi God's sperm is in his tongue. Mungu mbegu yake ya uzazi iko kwenye ulimi wake. Come here down. The only time God used his hands to build anything or create anything was when he made you and me. Wakati Mungu alitumia mikono yake kujenga kitu ni wakati alikumba wewe na mimi. After that he gave us the power. Baada ya hiyo akatupa nguvu to use our hands. Tumia mikono yetu to create whatever we want. Kujenga chochote tunachotaka. But when it comes to him, lakini ikija kwake tena, he commands it to exist. Anaamuru iwe na inakuwa. He uses his tongue. Anatumia ulimi wake. He said let there be light. Akasema kuwe na mwanga. And there was light. Na kukawa. He said let the waters be separated from the darkness. Akasema maji yakawanyika kutoka kwa the dry land. Let light be separated with the darkness. Mwanga ugawanyika kutokana na giza. He speaks, he speaks, he speaks. And the same power he has given you and he has given me. He says whoever says. Anasema yeyote Hallelujah. If you say with your tongue. If you, de- if you declare with your tongue. And you say to this mountain be removed. And cast into the sea. And you do not doubt in your heart. Na huna shaka moyoni mwako. And you believe in your heart. Na unaamini moyoni mwako. That the things that you have said. Ya kwamba uliyoyasema kwa kinywa chako. Will come to pass. Yale yatatendeka hivyo. He says you will have whatever. Anasema itakuwa yako. Kama ya tumsifu. Njo ndugu tumsifu. Look at this man. Mwangalia ni huyu. What do you used to say? Unasema kwa nini? Unatumia nini kwa kuongea? kwa kusema nini? Touch it with your hand. He uses his tongue to speak. Unatumia kwa heart. Use your hand and touch your heart. Moyo wako. Tumia mkono wako kwa kusema. I want you to touch your tongue. With one hand and your heart with the other. Na moyo wako uguze na mkono mwingine. The distance between your tongue and your heart. Kati ya ulimi na moyo wako is one foot ni futi moja one futi moja peke yake unataka tupime you want us to take measurements unataka tupime you want us to take measurement your head should be at that position kinywa chako kiwe katika this is not one foot hii sio futi moja hiyo chupa sio moyo ulimi hizo inji zimebaki hapo ni futi moja. Mm. But whatever happens kini kinachotendeka kati ya here kwenye ulimi whatever this mouth speaks kwa hicho zake kinywa kinachosema and what is believed in your heart na kinachoaminiwa moyoni must be connected. Lazima ziungane. The problem we have shida yetu is that we are masters of language sisi ni wasomi wa lugha we know how to speak grammatical we know how to pray grammatically correct prayers tunajua kuomba maombi ambayo ni sanifu every pull stop is put where it is supposed to be kikomo kinawekwa kwenye kinasta and every comma is supposed to be where it is supposed to be kikomo kifupi kinawekwa kwenye kinasta everything is correct chochote kiko sawa ni sanifu but some of us have no faith lakini wengine wetu hatuna imani in whatever they are saying katika eno tunayotamka that's why keshas are very long ndio maana kesha zinakuwa ngadefu and uh, out of the eight hours you spend in akesha Nakati you spend mas- seven of them talking to god nakati ya masaa hiyo nane unashiriki katika kesha yote saba unakuja kunena na mungu and the other one going, taking coffee or going to the toilet na sali moja hiyo ni ya kwenda ukule msalani ama kuja phone call ama kujifanya unapokea but seven of them you spend them talking to god lakini masaa hiyo ingine yote unasema unaongea na mungu how much of all that you spend talking to god maneno hayo yote uliyosema kwa mungu your heart believes in 
Jesus says whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done where does doubt come into into your heart what do you use to speak? Unasema kwa nini ama unatumia nini kwa kusema? If the two of them kama zote mbili are not connected. Hazijaana mana. There will be no answer to prayer. Kutakuwa na jibu la maombi. But let me show you something deeper. Hebu nikuonyesha kitu ndani zaidi. Give me verse 25. You can sit down bana 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 tumsifu thank you. Tumsifu asante. Jesus after exciting each one of us. Yesu Kristo baada ya kuchukua and making us believe that whatever we say will come to pass. Ba kufanya tuamini kwamba toyo toyo tutakasema kitatenda. Bari Bila announcement. Bila, bila preparations. Bila kutayarishwa. He drops verse 5. Yeah, verse 25. Yeah, analete, hiyo aya he says until and now when you are ready to call mountains. When you are ready to rebuke mountains. When you are ready to cast out devils. When you are so ready. You have faith. You believe. Your mouth is ready. And you are about to say be removed. He puts a roadblock. He says but when you are ready to pray. If you have anything. Against anybody. Do what? Come on talk to me. Do what? Forgive him. Samehe. That your father. Ili baba yako. In heaven. Aliye binguni. May your soul forgive you. Pia wewe ya kusamehe. Your trespasses. Mother ambi za. I had not started preaching. Now I'm starting. Basi sasa naanda kuhubiri. Jesus. Just like I slotted the, the, the need of a husband and prayer for a husband in my daughter's prayer for, and, and release for Mombasa. <laughs> Jesus slots in something when, he is, when we are so excited about binding mountains and commanding them to go to the sea and they go. And he says, and there is something that I have to introduce you to because if it is in you. Or if it is not in you, it will affect whatever you say to me. Are we together? Are we together? What is that? What is that? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Let me tell you this. I have been called by several men that are not born again. And they tell me that message has touched me on forgiveness. But I am not saved. What do I do? Because this is the biggest problem I have in my life. One man told me I am married for 20 years. And right now we are not talking with my wife. We are in the same house. We have not talked for months. I watched your message. I'm not saved. Please Bishop help me to know Because if you can teach that message It means you can help me Because that seems to be the problem in my family Let me tell you If there is something that is so hard to give Is what? It is very easy for you to give somebody your wallet. It is possible for you to give your car to somebody. It is very easy to buy me lunch. But to accord me forgiveness. It takes a whole lot than just I forgive you. That is why Jesus says when you stand praying so hear this your breakthrough in prayer is tied to your ability to forgive. Let me repeat again your ability your breakthrough 
kupenya. Your effectiveness in prayer. Katika kutenda kazi katika maombi yako kutenda kazi. Your effectiveness in prayer. Maombi yako kuweza kutenda kazi. My effectiveness in prayer. Kutenda kazi kwa maombi yangu pia. Is tied to my ability. Imeunganishwa na uwezo wangu to forgive wakusamehe others for they have done for me wengine waliyonikosea what is jesus trying to say yesu kristo anasema nini hapa jesus is trying to say anasema hii it is impossible for you to break through haiwezekani wewe kupenya in prayer katika maombi before god kabla mbele za bwana when you are people serving a life sentence in the prison of your heart wakati kuna watu umefungia jela maisha ndani ya moyo wako so now let me pick this hebu nichukue hii so do you now understand sasa unaelewa if you are break through in prayer kama una upenyo katika maombi if my effectiveness in prayer before god kwa kwa maombi yangu kutenda kazi mbele za bwana determined by my ability to keep my heart free of offenses inalenganishwa na mimi kuweka moyo wangu bila bila kuwa na lawama ndani you now yangu. understand why watu wanakukoseanga ovyo unaelewa kwa nini watu wanakukosea ovyo ovyo watu wanakusemanga ovyo and they say it ill against you watoto wanafanyanga vitu vya kukasirisha wewe children will do things that will annoy you your husband likes just making you annoyed every time mume wako anakufanya ukasirike kila mara. Your boss makes you mad every time. Yule mkubwa wako anakuasirisha you know mara kwa mara. Are you understanding why? Je, yeah, unaelewa kwa nini? Because kwa ni sababu when you are carrying wacha nisemaye vile watu wanasemanga wakija counseling. Mm. Ninabebana. You carry. Ukinibeba if you carry me na unibebe and carry me na ubebe huyu. Na carry na this other one. Huyu. And another one. When you come before God ukija mbele za Bwana na virago hivyo you are already hairlocked wewe umejiziba you are hairlocked wewe umejiziba tayari how much water can you get from a tap that is hairlocked unaweza pata maji kiasi gani kwa mfereji wenye uko na hewa ndani unafanyanga hivi No, you turn the you turn the tap and all you hear is especially after the the water has been disconnected and the hair has gotten into the pipe then you open the tap then what you hear is hakuna maji yanatoka hata tonema you wait for water to come out but ngojea maji yatoke lakini ni hewa tu maji yanataka kutoka ndio but mfereji umefungana Uliza jirani yako umefungana umefungana because ukienda mbele za Mungu wakati umebebana na watu na umebeba ya watu na umebeba mambo ya watu na umekasirika na umekasirikia na umekasirikiwa basi ni Mungu anasikia ukianza kuongea ukisema nataka ku rebuke that man anasikia anangojea maombi itoke lakini Baka baka Mungu anashindwa huyu atatoa hewa lini hewa lock hewa lock hewa baridi ambia jirani yako kutokusamehe inasababisha hewa lock and forgiveness causes hewa lock hizi jaubiri mahali pengine kwa hivyo ni mara ya kwanza kwa hivyo acheni tu nitoe That's why the devil wants to make sure that Dio, Dio every day Ibilisi anataka kufanya kila siku there is somebody who wrongs you kuna mtu anakukosea or somebody who says something that offends you mtu atasema kitu ambacho kitakukosea or somebody who does something that annoys you mtu atafanya kitu ambacho kitakukosea because he knows when you go before God enda mbele za Mungu there will be wale wanao kataa kusameana those who don't forgive ujikosea wao wenyewe they wrong themselves uliza jirani yako amefungana siku ngapi ask your neighbor how, for how long have you been muliza 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 how long have you been like this amefungana siku ngapi si muliza amefungana siku ngapi how long have you been amefungana siku ngapi 
Aya mulize swali ingine mzuri sana. Ni miezi ngapi tangu ufungane? Mulize tu ni miezi ngapi? Ni miezi ngapi tangu ufungane? Since this. Miezi ngapi? Because wengi wetu sio siku. Mm. Wengi wetu ambao wako hapa ni siku chache tu tangu wafungane manyuru. Mm. Lakini wengine ni wiki tano tangu wafungane manyuru. Wengine ni miezi tatu tangu wafungane manyuru. Wengine ni miezi kabi tatu na nusu tangu wafungane manyuru. Aya wauliza swali ya mwisho. Utafungana mpaka lini? <laughs> Eh. Hey. Hey, eh, una utaishi hivyo miaka ngapi? Muuze utaishi hivyo. Utaishi hivyo. You be like this. Miaka ngapi? How many years? Kuja hapa tumalize. Farao, Firauni. When frogs were everywhere in his house. When he refused to release the children of Israel in the book of Exodus. Out of the ten miracles, the miracle of frogs. There were frogs everywhere. Frogs everywhere in, in his bedroom. In his living room. There were frogs everywhere. Mm-hmm. The frogs had one message. Let my people go. Let my people go. Let my people go. Frogs were everywhere. He sent his servants to call Moses. He came and told Moses. Pray to God. To take away these frogs. There are so many. They are everywhere. When Pharaoh would go to sleep. He would sleep on frogs. They were everywhere. When he's eating ugali. They would jump into the ugali. And become the, 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 the Na kumambia usine. Na hakuna mtu walikuwa anaspika dumu. Asikuwa zinashika dumu. Hazingeweza. Hakuna dumu ilikuwa inapata. Hakuna. Mm. Hakuna. Wale wako nyuma waoni kile tunafanya tukae mm. pande hii. Akilala. And he would sleep. Analalia chura. Aya. Chura. Ngine inaruka. Akija pande hii namwambia waacha let my people go. <laughs> Akiinuka hivi ngine namwambia let my people go. Acha watu wangu waende. Kasema nimechoshwa na hizi viura. Nasema I'm tired of these frogs. You see until you know the consequences of living a life of not forgiving people, until you get tired of paying the price of unforgiveness, you can never forgive people. Hadi uchoshwe na kulipa gharama ya kutowasamehe watu, hauwezi wasamehe. Listen to this. Hebusikia. He sent Moses. Akamtuma tumania Musa. Moses came. Musa akaja. He told Moses. Amwambia yeye Musa. Pray to your God. Omba Mungu wako to remove these frogs. Andoe hawa viura. From us. Kutoka hapa kwetu. Moses akamwambia umechoka na viura. Musa akamwambia, "Are you tired of frogs?" He said, "Yes." Kasema ndio. Then he told him, "This listen to this." Amwambia, "Haya sikia." He told him. Amwambia, "You have the honor to choose." Wewe una maamuzi. When you want me to ask God to take away the frogs from the land of Egypt. Pharaoh opened his mouth and he said tomorrow. Not today. Not today. When? Tomorrow is how many hours? 24 24 hours. Ask your neighbor, what did he want to do with the frogs for 24 hours? Did, 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 he, did, he, did he want to do some research on the remaining frogs? This is your moment.